New Yorkers came to the aid to make sure somebody was apprehended who needed to be. Here's a video. Bro, get that guy, bro. Get this guy. Get him down! Bro, get him on the get floor. Get him down! I want to get him down! I want to get him down! I want to get him down! No way, no way. We ain't going nowhere. No way, stop. Yeah, he jumped out! Bro, let me give you the background. Put the picture up for a mass. Bystanders tackled that guy. His name is Kyle Fernandez. This was following a wild police chase. Numerous charges have now been filed against this 20 year old. The driver is accused of hitting 10 people. One is a six year old child. He was driving the stolen car on Manhattan's east side on Tuesday evening. Now keep the picture up. You may be saying, well, obviously this guy had a bad day. Uh, I say the victims had a bad day. The child especially had a bad day. And he had a lucky day. Let me tell you why. The New Yorkers who caught him did not kill him. He's alive. He was apprehended. The police were chasing him. No telling what would have happened if they caught him first. Police said several people were hit on the sidewalk, but the driver of the stolen car wasn't done. The car then jumped the curb and hit several more people before making a U-turn within the intersection. I want you to see the carnage, the wreckage. Police said Fernandez was behind the wheel during the wild police chase in Midtown, resulting in the following charges. Reckless endangerment, leaving the scene of an accident, fleeing from an officer, possession of stolen property, resisting arrest, obstruction of governmental administration, driving a vehicle impaired by drugs, no license, failure to obey a police officer, and driving on the sidewalk. Police sources told CBS New York that Fernandez has multiple prior arrests and one open case currently in Manhattan. He was arrested on January 16th, charged with robbery, assault, and criminal mischief. That case is still pending. He also has prior gun possession and drug possession related arrest. Police said they are still seeking the suspect's female passenger who fled the scene on foot. CBS New York has also learned the car he was allegedly driving was reported stolen on Monday in the Bronx. The accused thought he could get away, but a group of good Samaritans tackled him. Witnesses said it was a chaotic scene. Among the injured was a six-year-old child, but officials said none of them suffered life-threatening injuries. The most severe being an ankle fracture to a young lady, and the others were just minor abrasions and neck and back pain. Um, the FDNY deputy, Chief Mario Tompkins, said police said they don't believe the matter was terrorism related, adding the investigation is still ongoing. I highlight the story because citizens who had no badge, no gun, no special training and absolutely no idea they were in danger saw danger. They decided to act. They did not act in a way that harmed the young man. They simply wanted to apprehend him. It wasn't personal. It was about accountability. You're hitting people. You're hitting children. You have to be accountable to this. It's not personal. So we're going to just hold you until the authorities can arrest you and allow you to face your crimes. That's how it should be. So why is it that citizens with no training, no badge, no gun, no oath, are able to routinely apprehend individuals who seemingly can be dangerous? But police officers seem to get so trigger happy. Oh, I shot him because I was in fear of my life. All right. Yeah, as we thought. Yeah, this is terrifying. New York City is one of the 
only truly walkable places in this country, one of the only places where people can really realistically exist without having a car, as far as I'm concerned, that needs to be respected and protected. Of course, this isn't a regular occurrence, though, but something like this happening in Midtown Manhattan is particularly bad, especially because Midtown is always full of a ton of tourists. And, you know, with all of the money flowing into NYPD, we'd like to think that they would have been further on top of this instead of having to have Good Samaritan step in. But we know that that's not really how law enforcement works. What I'm worried about is that a one-off incident like this will be used as a reason to further enrich the cops when we know that more money for cops won't prevent things from, like this from happening in the future. Yeah, they, they need to get more money to citizens, obviously. Mm-hmm.